So this idea that file sharing is illegal, you have been brainwashed by the American media industry to believe this. These are the people who, they, they, their job is to create these ideas and get them out there and, and, and affect the, the opinions of millions of people. And it's been incredibly effective on you. But the absolute truth is, consumers have rights. You have rights. And for me, I bought like Fleetwood Mac rumors. Anybody here a Fleetwood Mac? No. Uh, okay. So I bought this album on, on vinyl. Then I bought the album on 8-track. Then I bought the album on digital audio tape. Then I bought the album on cassette. Then I bought the album on CD. Then I bought the album on DVD. I have paid for this content 10 times over. Are you really gonna tell me I don't have a right to an MP3 copy of that music? That's ridiculous. But because the media industry has a financial interest in, in letting you believe you no longer have any rights, you're, you're willing to accept that. Now, so what happens, and this is very strategic what they did, what, what they do is they try to take a small grain of truth and, and, and create around that small grain of truth one very big lie. So the, 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 very, the small grain of truth is that yes, it's true that you probably don't have the right to take their music and publish that music on the internet and allow people to get it for free. So there have been some cases where the courts have said, yeah, you're publishing content, you're in the business of publishing content, you don't really own the content, you're probably in some trouble. Although there are some protections in place that you can, that you can use to protect yourself against, against those arguments. But the fact is, no court anywhere has ever said that you're in trouble for downloading music. Okay, so, so you do actually have a fair use right to go and download music that's made freely available on these file sharing networks. You absolutely have a right to do that and no court has ever said that that's illegal. And the fact is, the fact is these music companies themselves, they took this music and they put this music in the public domain. Okay, and when you take your stuff and you throw it in the public domain and you do it with reckless, a reckless lack of regard for you know who gets it, um, you know you can't come back later and say oh by the way you can't download it if it's in the public domain. You have absolutely every right to go download that music in my in, in my opinion, and I've had, had no court say anything other than that. So that I think is a great question. You know the world is run by very powerful people who have a lot of undue influence on people that you would hope would be beyond reproach. But in the Ninth Circuit Court, you know, in, in California, there are people there that, you know, we know don't necessarily have a very strict sense of, of justice and fair play. So, uh, so, so this was something that made me, that, that discouraged my belief in America and it discouraged my belief in fairness. And then an amazing thing happened to rekindle my belief in people. And, and that was, that was SOPA. That was people like you finally standing up and saying, look, you know what, wait a minute, we actually have rights. And no matter how corrupted our, the US government becomes with private commercial interests taking huge amounts of money, millions of dollars, and giving it to politicians, specifically so that those politicians can go enact legislation, and now it's even worse. Uh, you know, put pressure on the Justice Department and the police to raid houses to shut down companies like uh, Mega Upload, for instance. Um, so, so, so with SOPA and PIPA and ACTA, these are very important for society and humanity because, because they show people's willingness to stand up for themselves and to stand up for what's right and for what they believe in and to stand up for their rights. And they did that. And they did that in such vast numbers that the corrupt politicians had to go scurrying for the, for the uh, shadows, back to the shadows. So uh, it, it's, it's, the internet is something that provides freedom and liberation and, and power and, and, and has an awesome democratizing effect um, to, to, re, to restore power to, to, to the people and to individuals. And that was a great example.